Hey what's up guys my name is 100 Black and White and I'm bringing to you guys another Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi battle against my friend Michael. If you do like it please leave it down in the comments below I would greatly appreciate it. Also leave any um, advice you would like to give me because I am starting um, on YouTube. Also if you would like to battle me in a specific tier or style or with a certain theme or with a certain team please um leave that in the comments below or um go on my twitter at 100 bandw if you can't remember it will always be in the description so check it out also if you would like to battle me please leave your friend code your in-game name and your real name down in the comments or on my twitter as always anyways we're fighting it's michael um like always these are just people who randomly challenge me for now until like people like want to request battles but i'm just gonna battle him right now he brought a really interesting team i like when people bring pokemon i normally don't see he has a pseudo wudo a hitmonchan a feraligator without an o for some reason i didn't know feraligator wasn't spelled without an o when i was younger or even now until now um anyways an espion a typhlosion a clefable i have um I have a similar team like last time against Rishi, except I switched up some Pokemon. I still have my um, Ampharos, my Staraptor, my Slacking, my Heracross. Oh wait, no, I switched out. Yeah, I put in Heracross because I really want to use Heracross because it's a really good Pokemon. And then I have my Gardevoir and I have a Gudra. So the newcomers in this team are Heracross and Gudra. And then Ampharos, um, Staraptor, Slacking, and um, Gardevoir are the ones I used from last battle. So looking at his team, I'm going to think that he's going to start off with the Pseudo Wudo to set up rocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send in Heracross. Because um, an Earthquake would bring it down to its sturdy, and then um, another Earthquake would take it out. Um... He might be Choice Bandit Explosion, which I hope he's not, but like I would run that set a lot because it does so much power. If you ever watched um, anyone use a Pseudo Wudo, like I think all people use Pseudo Wudo, like it's so powerful. Here goes a Pseudo Wudo. It's so powerful. Like, don't underestimate its look. It is so powerful. A low kick, an explosion, an earthquake, a rock slide. It demolishes. I'm going to go for the earthquake right here. It should break in down to pretty sturdy. Oh my gosh, the thing's bulky. Oh my gosh. He goes for a counter. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh my gosh, it's lefties count. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm gonna run that. Oh my gosh, it's such a good set. It's so bold. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna run that set. I am gonna run that set. Oh my gosh, that is such a good set. Counter Sudo Wudo. Oh my gosh, it just took out my hair across like that. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go for an energy ball to just hopefully take this thing out. Um, He goes for a sucker punch. Oh my gosh. That's gonna do almost half damage to me. Oh my gosh. At least, yes, I will take the pseudo Wuda out. So luckily, um, I won't get bopped because half of my team are physical attackers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was, that was insane. Michael goes on into the Espeon right now. Um, I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Ball. Because this Gardevoir is a um, max special defense assault vest. He goes for the light, not light clay, light screen right now. Reducing the power of this shadow ball so it'll eat it up. Oh my gosh, was that a crit? Yup, it was a crit. Because even um, even though I, I have special attack investment, a shadow ball after light screen shouldn't do that much. So, okay. So at least I got... um. The Espeon out of the way because Espeon is too fast. Espeon is so fast. Um, he brings in um, the Fraligator right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for an Energy Ball. I don't think an Aqua Gem will take me out. He goes for the Dragon Dance. Luckily, um, my Staraptor does have um, Quick Attack on it. So I can out-prioritize. Except, I... No, I think... I'm pretty sure Jolly Staraptor still outspeeds a plus one for Alligator. I'm pretty sure. 
anyways I think um he's just gonna go and aqua jet me right here yep there's the aqua jet that should one hit my um Gardevoir because Gardevoir is not the bulkiest thing on physical side um I'm gonna go into my Ampharos because it is mega and dragon types resist water so I should be able to live an aqua jet easily because I am max HP even if it does a lot of damage um I'll still um destroy this Fraligator he does it looks like he's gonna stay in and go for the aqua jet if he does go for the ice punch I'm kind of sad but I'm pretty sure he's gonna go for the aqua jet no, he chooses to go for the Ice Punch. Oh, I'm not going to live that now. Oh my gosh, I lived that 15. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no freeze. No freeze. Yes, yes. Um, For those of you don't, who don't know, this Mega Ampharos, for some reason, it always freezes. Like, I had a battle yesterday with Michael, and it froze. It froze when he Ice Punched me just, like, in that situation. I actually forgot that I would live at plus one Ice Punch. Um... This Hitmonchan is going to go for the Mach Punch. I'm going to go out into my Gudra because it's a gooey Gudra and not a... Here, wait, let me check if I'm clicking the right Gudra. Yep, there it is. Um, This is a gooey Gudra and not a Sap Sipper one because I'm not that worried about Spore at all. Even though it is um, really um, annoying. He goes for the Ice Punch. Oh, wow. That almost takes out my Gudra. But that will um, lower um, Hitmonchan's speed. So if Michael does want to go for a Mach Punch right now, I'm okay with sacking this thing because he'll be at minus 2 speed. And he'll most likely switch out. But I'm going to go for the Dragon Pulse. He doesn't um, go for the Mach Punch for some reason, taking out my Gudra. So this will do some damage to um, Hitmonchan. He will get minus 2. Um, he will get minus 2 speed now. So, I think even my Ampharos could outspeed it, but I'm not going to switch in because this thing probably has Mach Punch. So, I'm going to go into my Slacking right here. Because this is a Choice Bandit Slacking. And you know, and you know, I'm going to show you guys a new meta. I'm going to show you guys the new meta that I think every Slacking should have. He goes for the Mach Punch. I'm okay. I'm going to take it. Look at how much health Slacking has. Aerial Ace, Bop. Bob, I don't care. I don't care if you're max defensive impish Hibonchan. You're not living a choice banded aerial ace from a slacking. Oh my gosh, slacking is so good. He goes out into the Typhlosion right now. Um I'm gonna switch out and go into my Ampharos and sack it off. Because I need this slacking, I think, to survive an eruption. I think Slacking will survive an eruption from this, from the Typhlosion? No, I don't think. Well, uh, I don't have damage calc and I'm not going to use it anytime soon. So what I'm going to do is, I'm pretty sure this thing is Scarved. So I'm going to go to my Styraptor. I'm going to get a Silk Scarf Quick Attack off. Hopefully that will reduce the damage of the... Eruption and hopefully my slacking will live it and What was his last Pokemon? He had This Sudowoodle for Alligator Espeon I can't even remember. I live at 10 so I will get more quick attack damage off so slacking will definitely live after for an eruption Because for those of you who don't know eruptions power is decreased um, when your health is lower when your health is um smaller so that's good. Um, I did have to sacrifice my priority, but I will either get rid of this Typhlosion or the next Pokemon. I'm gonna go... I don't know if it's last Pokemon Flying type. And I don't want to risk the chance of Giga Impact Miss because, yes, Giga Impact Miss. I hate it when it misses. Um, I'm just gonna go for an Earthquake. I'm just gonna go for the safe Earthquake. He withdraws Typhlosion. Please don't tell me he had a Flying type. Clefable. Okay, okay. Clefable, I think, should do a lot of damage from this Earthquake. It doesn't even bring it out to half. Oh, that's that's very... I need a crit with this next Earthquake because I'm pretty sure it's gonna, like, wish or something right now. I'm gonna... I have True on. 
So I'm gonna low fry. You guys are a T wave. Really? Really, Michael? Really? I I don't want hacks right now. Like, why would you T wave my slacking when you can just get damage off of it and then. I mean, you can get damage off of it now, but I mean, you didn't have to T wave. Seismic toss. Really? Really? You're running a seismic toss poke. Oh my gosh. I, I hate Pokemon like that. Please crit. Please crit slacking. Nope, it survives. Ah, uh, like why? Why run seismic toss on such a Pokemon on a Pokemon with such good variety on it? Like why seismic toss? Like why don't you like put Moonblast or like some something else? And I, I get that you want the fifty HP, Michael. But I mean, come on, man. Come on. At the end of the day, I know it's Pokemon. But still, you you could have so many better moves on it. But the seismic toss will take it out because seismic do toss doesn't set damage to fifty. That was a good battle. That was really close. Um, thank you, Michael, for battling me. Um, and also thank you all for watching this video. If you do like it, remember go ahead and put it in the comment section. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, give me any advice you would like to give me, whether it's be more exciting with your voice or get a better team or take risk or whatever just leave it down in the comment section and I would greatly appreciate that also if you would like to battle me please leave your friend code your in-game name and your real name down in the comments below or on my twitter at 100BANDW my twitter will always be in the description so go check it out also check out all of the other videos on my channel I hope you guys all like that and until next time guys, thank you for watching and goodbye.